Windows 11 had its own visual overhaul. It was a surprise from Microsoft. Many found it to be useful, but several laptops and desktops were left out. Like in my case, I have two laptops which did not receive the Windows 11 update. Also, Windows 11 has its own disadvantages. For certain machines, those that are new work great, like the stable Windows 11 Pro on my Intel 10th generation processor, while a little older 9th generation gaming series laptop was, when was updated, earlier performed poorly. I had shared my experiences about that. Click the i button above to watch the video. Well now, it is fine and Windows 11 feels fast on my 9th gen laptop after an update. So you see, updates are important. Windows 11 Lite has a unique welcome experience. It no way matches the Windows 11 design language and feels more like inspired by Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. Now choose the correct keyboard layout, then accept the ter license terms, then choose an username and password, then it finalizes your settings. It also shows you messages while logging into your account. The wallpaper looks like Windows 11 from Wish.com. Whatever. Now, the first thing that you will notice is that the several effects are disabled by default. You can't get transparency, animations, and while moving the windows, the contents are not visible. Also, thumbnails are disabled. Even if you see, there are several applications that are missing. For example, Microsoft Store itself is missing. Windows 11 Lite has the most minimum set of applications. Whatever is required to help you get started, full stop, that is it. It is low on the CPU, takes an incredibly low amount of storage, Windows 11 fitting within just 10 GB itself is something unbelievable. Since there is no bloatware, Windows 11 Lite is trimmed down and takes only this much amount of RAM. I was comparing this with my Windows 11 official build from Microsoft. This is with the screen recorder on and as you can see in the task manager, the CPU usage is quite low and this is without the screen recorder. The lack of animation makes the system feel much faster and snappier. And the bonus is that they even provide you ways to turn back transparency on and animation if you like them. Windows 11 Lite has even brought subtle changes in the system. One of them is the Windows Plus X menu. There are several new entries there. The rest of the things work. Talk about changing themes, wallpapers, colors, sounds, surfing the web is fast and snappy. The entire system feels very lightweight. Even it performs well on Geekbench and the performance is almost equivalent to that of Windows 11. Well, Windows 11 has not been trimmed properly. There are missing softwares and their references are still there uh, in the system. The unavailability of any browser pre-installed made my life difficult. The Fluent Photo Viewer app has been replaced with the legacy Windows Image Viewer. They have a compressor app which claims to compress Windows 11, but unfortunately running that app in my machine does nothing and it takes forever to compress Windows. The CPU usage is identical to my Windows 11 stable on this machine when it was freshly installed. The Windows Plus X menu does not work completely. Many of the options don't launch the correct apps. I mean, the apps are not present, but the references are there, as I said earlier. After installing Windows 11, I was pretty much stuck there, felt like an island. You can't download new softwares, you don't have Microsoft Store or any web browser. There are app references in the start menu. When clicked, they are added to the application menu, but the apps don't open or download. Apps are lagging here a bit. Windows 11 Lite takes a few seconds to register every click, probably because this is running from a pen drive. I appreciate the fact that Windows 11 Lite was at least usable from a pen drive. The original version of Windows would have performed worse. Also, File Explorer does not show thumbnails by default, which is not appreciated. The Bluetooth did not work for me, although the dongle was previously supported by a stable build of Windows 11, this version just won't recognize the dongle. Well, last but not the least, since this is an unofficial build, you won't get updates. And even if you do, your system might just get blocked someday by Microsoft. So I thought 
why not modify certain things in Windows 11 itself to make it a feel little bit snappier and faster. Open the start menu and search for adjust windows appearance and now you can run this application and you see a set of menus that are there right. You can uncheck them accordingly. You can partially or fully turn off animation, show or disable shadows, thumbnails and many more features. Also remember this is an unofficial build so if you don't trust the creator then the best thing is to change the settings as required in windows itself safely. In this way you don't get broken features and apps. But the huge trimming in storage that is there, that is for that thing you need to get Windows 11 Lite. Or you can follow your own steps to de-bloat Windows, which I don't recommend. The conclusion that I can draw is that Windows 11 Lite is not for modern computers. It is probably what Microsoft can do with Windows for older devices. A hope to bring them back to life, just like Chrome OS is trying to do. It does not change the CPU usage though, but there is a remarkable change in the amount of RAM and storage used as compared to the original Windows 11. This is obviously not for daily use, but a kind of appeal to Microsoft what they can do with Windows 11 for extending support to older hardware. Like some just use their PCs literally for browsing the web, watching videos or movies, uh, coding or writing document. Why will you need TPM and Secure Boot for that purpose? Right, so that's it. Well, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe if you find my video useful. Also, do comment down below what you think about this build of unofficial build of Windows 11. That is all for this video. I'll catch you in the next one.